I'll blow your team out with my my oh, 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 burns. Demon, demon, for the win. Saxon now now making his move up the hill. Let's see what the red team is doing. They have once again taken position on the cliff. How it appears that, the, ironically, the heavies are the first one to take it. The Demonites are sticking up. Sticking up. It appears that the, the Sex now is able to get into the point very early. Taking no time to reach this position. Will they be able to fortify it in time? He's used the super jump poorly, being sent back by those snipers. The medic is at the front line, acting as a vanguard with the Ubercharge. There is indeed the Ubercharge on another medic. Possibly could have been used on someone better. There is the rage. However, the first rage of the round, the medic moving in with the Ubercharge to keep trying to keep his team in play. However, Saxon now has made his way up to the cliff. There is a rage catching absolutely everyone on the red team inside it. Kirsty is the only one to go down. However, Saxon now being sent off the cliff. He's able to maintain his footing. However, getting back on the cliff and trying to take down the Cypress. Chai's out hell fishing. The dispenser of Kirsty going down. Nimbus Rider following soon after the medic trying to keep his team in play with the Ubercharge. However, it appears that the Ubercharge heavy is moving in with the melee. Using his protection, but not taking advantage of his increased damage. The Heavy doing a good bit of damage, only to be taken down, followed by Evil Jester. Saxnell sent off the cliff, using the super jump effectively to swing himself back along and get back on there, taking down Red Eye Main, the medic. Saxnell ex being extremely at mobile with the super jump, taking down Zinichi and Tomoyo. However, the juggling efforts of the red team have sent him down off the cliff, but the damage has already been done. The red team being reduced to 14 members, they could not hold the cliff and will be at an extreme disadvantage against Saxonel's superior stats. There is the gank on Fancy Scout the Pyro. Another sub jump used to get into position against absolutely no one. The heavy, however, is in the best, but only to be aided by the medic with the Ubercharge doing a good bit of damage. However, it appears that the sniper, but not, will be taken down instead. An effective use of the sub jump as seen thus far. There is a gank on Juice here trying to get out of there with the equalizer, realizing that he had full health and therefore gained nothing from it. There is the rage used to take down the heavy before I was meant to put a name here can send Saxnell into a laughing fit. However, it appears that there is another gank on the engineer. The red team losing significant members of their team right now. They are, they've been unable to maintain their position on the cliff. It appears that Saxnell will be able to take this win quite easily. Rather strange turn of events, it appears that the red team typically have the advantage on this map due to that position, but they were unable to hold it. The medic able to survive that hit with a minor amount of health. Trollo is able to get out of there, surviving it due to the efforts of his fellow medic. Now where is Sexton Hale? Real man fight. Now it appears that BBS Big Daddy has been taken down. There he is, he's able to take down Captain Purple's the spy. Will he be able to get this scout? He does, he have the spirit, superior speed. You may be yes he does, Adolu the uh, rather questionable tactic scout from the previous round has been taken down. Make his move on the cliff position. Once again, it appears that the sniper has been aided by the medic. Saxon now giving up on this chase. Dallas Paul is taken down. Treason go with a demo at this time. He's unable to get that hit on Saxnell. There is the Ubercharge on the sniper. The sniper is able to use the melee to send Saxnell off the cliff, but he's only super jumps straight back onto it. The medic moving in the offensive, trying to distract Saxnell as Saxnell goes for the scout instead. He was able to chase down the other scout, and there is the gank indeed on Bianco, cornering himself between a rock and a hard place. However, Saxon are now going after this sniper. The sniper using the SMG to gain some extra damage will be enough to keep him away. There is a super damage piece that Nigo Leo blow himself up instead to avoid those hits, leaving only four members of the red team still standing. There is the rage, however, the piece that Captain Purples is taken down once again. There is the rage. Will Saxon now be able to find him in time? Yes, he does. Captain Purples does go down in despite being invisible. Saxon now is able to locate him, take him off the field, leaving only three members of the red team still standing. It appears that the odds are extremely stacked in Saxon Hale's further. Further. Uh, favor. He's making his move on the sniper. The sniper does not have the speed necessary to run away. And there is indeed the gank taking the red team down to three. Down to two. So many mistakes. Uh. There is a super jump getting into position. Will we see a stomp? No, we do not. The medic activates the Ubercharge just in time to avoid that missed stomp. 
Now it appears that a good use of co of teamwork is enabling the Demonite to get out of there using his own stickies. Surviving way too many due to the uber-charge of the Medic. The Medic, however, did sacrifice himself to keep that Demonite alive. Will he be able to locate this Demonite in time? We only have one minute left on the clock. The Demonite does do 100% criticals. This will be extremely valuable in his efforts to survive the last few 40 seconds. However, Sax now is able to cap the point. The question is whether or not he'll be forced to go into overtime. That turtle makes me angry. Mission ends in 30 Don't seconds. The turtle, bitch. It's making me angry. The Demonite has set up his position. He does have a minor amount of health. It will not be enough to survive a second hit. Let's see if he has the island. Mission ends in Please, I am unable to do so. The Demonite detonating his sticky is only to move back into position. He does not have the health necessary to sticky jump. However, Sax now is going for the point, taunting the Demonite to move into melee range. My job. There is indeed the easy gank on JMK. Sax now coming out the door, taking him down on the stair to the shrine. Sax now doing extremely well to take down the red team despite their superior environmental advantage, and that is indeed game.